Hi everyone, this is JD, your Gadget Review friend. We're continuing to review and compare devices and you can check these updates on our Twitter community at GadgetRev now. Apple just released the new iPhone 13 lineup, but we're not talking about it today. We're looking back two years ago and check the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro and why you should own it in 2021. The newest iPhone craze is here and a lot of people are selling their old iPhones to purchase the newer 13 so I thought of creating a guide for you to consider iPhone 11 or 11 Pro. Today we have 7 reasons why you should own or consider iPhone 11 in 2021. Hey, don't forget to subscribe my friend. Let's go! Our first reason is the design. Well, oddly enough, the newest iPhone doesn't have a lot to offer in terms of looks. It's actually the same as the iPhone 11 lineup. I think the notch is a little smaller and the camera modules are bigger. But honestly, at first look, no one will notice that you're holding a 2-year-old iPhone 11. There's no change in the design so iPhone 11 will blend even next year. Our next reason is great build quality. Same with the design, it's the same build quality as the newer iPhones. Metal frame sandwiched by Gorilla Glass. If you can get the pro version of iPhone 11, it's even greater because it's the same aluminum frame as the more expensive iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. I can confidently say that iPhone 11, 12, and 13 have the most durable build quality for iPhones. It's premium, well-built, and the internals are inaccessible, which is also a good thing because it will be really hard to tamper these phones. Next reason is the continuous update. According to some articles online, iPhone 10 to 13 will have 6 years of iOS update. That's a great news for people who will just buy or currently owning the iPhone 11. This phone was launched 2019, so we still have 4 more years of continuous update. So we're guaranteed iOS 19, and that's a lot of support and life for this phone. Apple are known to update iPhones for a long period of time, while Google are only supporting Pixel phones for at least 3 years. Some phone manufacturers like TCL and Motorola only offers one year of major update and done. This speaks highly on Apple and how they support their products. They care about older iPhones. Next reason is the fast performance because of the processor. I've been using this phone for quite some time now and to be honest, I don't see any difference between iPhone 11 and 13. It uses the powerful A13 Bionic processor and I can play almost any games without hiccups. The lighter apps also load faster. I never had any performance issues like lagging or stuttering, so if you want a phone with fast performance, this is one affordable iPhone to buy in 2021. Next is camera performance. I mean the most viewed videos on our channel are camera comparison videos and I will compare this phone to iPhone 13 and maybe the older iPhone models to prove a point that this phone has everything including great cameras. It shoots 4K at 60fps which is good for everyday video or vlogging and it also performs well on low light condition. It might not be the best shooter we have now but I can guarantee it's one of the strongest competitor out there. Next reason is great battery life. I can register 5NF hours on my iPhone 11 Pro with screen brightness at 40-50%, to 50%, sometimes turning off LTE and Wi-Fi. It also has a pretty solid standby time, so you don't have to worry about the phone when not using it. I know the newest iPhone has pretty impressive battery life because I'm currently reviewing and comparing iPhone 13 mini, but based from my lifestyle where I use the phone mostly for calls, texts, and camera, I don't see a marginal difference between iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 13 mini. Hey, just a side note, if you're enjoying this, we're making more videos of these phones in the future. Please hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. And the last reason is the price. I know some will still raise their eyebrow because iPhone 11 and 12, although older, may not be affordable for many. Even in used condition, it might be a little expensive for some, but I can guarantee in terms of the value you will get from an iPhone, I think basing it from everything you've heard, the design, the build quality, performance, battery life, and camera, iPhone 11 or 11 Pro is one of the best value iPhone now. You should own one. The newer iPhone 12 and 13 might be better in some areas, but everything was borrowed from the original iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. It is just a classic masterpiece. Well done. 
If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. We're posting videos of gadget reviews, comparisons, photography gears, and tips. The goal of this channel is to review and compare devices as simple as possible, concise, and friendly. Don't forget to drop your comment, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.